let's go to work. So this is a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while and it's an overview of the hydraulic assembly of a valent. This is the flow of the water from the main heat exchanger that goes into this hydro block here. It then passes through a filter in there which I'll get into in a minute. It goes round the back and to the bottom left hand side of this plate to plate. It comes across here, goes out of the heat exchanger through a hole round the back to the diverter which is actuated to be on hot water which then gets drawn into the pump circulated round back up to the heat exchanger and keeps doing that that's in it in essence how it works central heating it then rather than going through here and going into the the plate to plate it then comes across here and comes out through the central heating and goes off to the radiators and gets returned back through the diverter through the pump and back around that circuit we'll strip it down in a minute but essentially the pipe formations are central heating return cold water inlet hot water and central heating flow so this is your central heating return this is the cold water that comes into the boiler and there's a flow sensor there's a flow sensor on there and when this is when the hot water tap is opened or whatever services hot water services the hall sensor in here detects that there's a flow of water going through here and thus turns on the boiler and goes through the usual checks as if you've got a hot water issue you may want to check this hot water services outlet and then central heating flow out and the typical isolation valve this is an earlier version so there were two different versions they had a sensor here what they did was they took this out of here so what they did was they had um, a section on here and then they changed it over to this this particular type so this would go into your heat exchanger and be there and the reason they did that they had issues down here where the sensor was getting clogged up and was um, not seeing that differential of 0.3 um, pressure change which the PCB needs to actuate the boiler they then switched it from here to up here and you got a motor diverter plate to plate pressure gauge pressure release valve basket filter inside of here return back to the boiler I'm just going to undo this so that we can get a bit more space we're going to undo this I'll just show you what's in here okay. so this is the hydraulic assembly and you can see that there's a very dirty filter in there and I'll get a clean one so I keep one of these as a spare on the van as a basket filter and the idea fairly straightforward with this this goes in here it's got a lug on the side here and you need to make sure that's engaged in there when it's engaged in there it pushes all the way back which enables you to be able to get the flow pipe right in there because without that that section there bottoms out and you won't be able to get that pipe in so you'll be struggling to get that clip in there so when you do these either carry a spare have it cleaned out like this one so it's ready to go or spend some time um, I've never got one of these out in one piece without descaling it and this one's no exception the water passes through there and if it's going to the central heating it flows straight through and up there it isn't protected on the central heating so it's an unprotected circuit although some of this may catch but it is unprotected the only ones that are bypass and the hot water they're both protected by that filter yeah. so this is the uh, pump and that assembly that's where it went I was looking for that one a minute ago so what they did was they changed this um, 
as I was saying before, they changed it to this one, and you'll see that that's blanked off where this this would be. So now they have a position at the top. So this is replaced by having it up at the top on the return pipe, and they found that it worked better in that position because it wouldn't get clogged up and blocked up. The diverter out. Your standard diverter, two different positions, pulled out in that position there, it's on hot water. Furthest out is on hot water and pushed all the way in is around the central heating circuit. So it allows flow around the central heating. Uh, you've clearly got a couple of O-rings here and there. And the plate to plate. That's your plate to plate off. And here you can see it's been weeping out of there. I've got another one of these that I've prepared in good old Blue Peter fashion. The idea is fairly, fairly straight, but so that you can get your head around it, I've done it like this. Cold water from um, the mains comes in through here, goes round the back of here, comes out through there. It then passes through the top right hand side of the plate to plate, makes its way through all of the plates, and then comes out of here, through there, back through there, and then goes round the back, yeah, goes round the back, and comes out the hot water taps to the hot water services. Yeah, so through there, through there, back through there and out. And the central heating comes through here, across there, through the, through the basket filter, comes out through there, which is this one here, which in turn is just the first bottom left, comes through here, through the bottom of this plate, through the veins, back through there, yeah. comes to there, which the diverter is sitting at, yeah. diverter sitting there, in that position there the water goes through there, and comes straight out through there. Yeah, you can see it there. Just goes straight through there. And that's it pushed out. Comes straight through there into the pump, gets thrown round through that pipe and back off to the main heat exchanger. And when this is pushed in, yeah, blocking that off, it then allows the water to come through there through there from the radiators, yeah, and then back to the uh, back to the boiler goes through there and finds its way through there, yeah, and that goes back off to main heat exchanger. So I hope that helps. So the last bit is this. So we've got a pump assembly. So we'll just quickly undo this. T-bars are great for doing things like this, because they're fast. Okay, so that's our pump off, and this is a Grum Foss on here. So, this is your pressure release valve. It has a clip in there ordinarily, and you know, quite a lot of the time I will take this out, give this a good clean, make sure there's none of that stuff at the bottom, check that seat there, and if it doesn't look right, re-grease it, clean it, put it back in so long as there's no rubbish on that seat, or no eating away. That looks pretty okay. Put it back in. Let's do the top one. So this one goes up to the expansion vessel. Fairly straightforward, comes out. Yeah, that comes out. Small O-ring, pressure gauge, and then a clip through there. And that assembly comes out of there. Pull this out. Automatic air vent. Sorry, I've filmed this about three times today. So, automatic air vent. 
and that's the whole of and that's all of it anyway i hope that helps um and it's a thorough breakdown of the whole of the hydro block and hydro assembly of an ecotech valent ecotech boiler